Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 and I come out of the curtain and all that. So hi, we got we got Ray on with us tonight. How's it going? You know, the uh, the other day I was listening to my iPod, and I was just kind of walking down this long corridor, and the theme from Superman the movie came on, <laughs> and I thought I should always be walking yeah. with this theme, and I just pictured it right now in my head. You just jump into the phone just booth like, and right, exactly. You know, I'd hum <laughs> it, but you probably got to pay royalties. <laughs> exactly. So uh, Ray does the website called uh, thelairlive.com. Correct. Right? And that is all about comic books, right? It's all about superheroes, not just comic books, ah. specifically tailored towards superheroes. It's uh, everything super. So, you know, we don't do Star Wars. We don't do Transformers. We don't do any Archies or anything like that. <laughs> it's all, you know, uh, superheroes, Batman, Superman. You know, you know the, the laundry list of of heroes because there's enough to talk about with the movies and the mm -hmm. and you know the comics alone so that's what it is the lair live dot com cool uh so uh what inspired you to start the website just my love for superheroes you know it's been a, a lifelong love of of you know of superheroes you know it started with the old batman tv show in the 60s and then uh and then it just built from there you know and and specifically I I've been getting more and more into um away from comics and more into the movies mm -hmm. and because I just love seeing everything on screen because it's come to this point where the the kids who were my age you know the people who are I guess they're adults now but the people that are my age grew up wanting to see some great stuff on the big screen even on the small screen and we would get these cheesy renditions of things and they would really change things up, and I'm like, you know, this really stinks, you know? This is not cool. And now it's at this point where we're seeing exactly what we had in our head mm -hmm. as kids, and, and the people that were uh, reading the, you know, the, the books and watching the cartoons are now making these movies, and, and they have a love for it as well. So it kind of started, my, my whole thing started with, you know, with, with the love of comics and the love of superheroes so hmm. there it is so you're pretty happy with the modern day translations of the superhero movies more or less i mean every once in a while you're like eh, yeah. you know but but overall i'm just happy that they're on the big screen and that people are taking them serious you know mm -hmm. people are people are actually paying attention you yeah. know i mean when heath ledger gets a oscar I mean, hello, people are paying attention. Yeah, Oscar for comic book movie. That's that's kind of a new yeah, one. Yeah, that you know, you I mean, 10 years ago you weren't seeing people being nominated for they weren't even acknowledging anything. Yeah. Maybe maybe costumes, maybe set design, maybe maybe a score up or something. something. Yeah, yeah. But the acting, no. You weren't even it wasn't even being oh. considered, so what are some of the uh, new ones that we should be on the lookout for, the movies that, that uh, you think mo are well, going to be good? Well, next year we've got the, the couple of Marvel movies. We've got uh, Captain America, oh, the first yeah. Avenger, mm -hmm. and we've got Thor, which you know are going to tie into the whole uh, Avengers thing in a couple of years that they've already um, you know, kind of tapped into Iron Man, the Hulk, yeah. and, uh, and that sort of thing. So they're going to put them all together. So that obviously... Uh, they're about to uh, start shooting a new Spider-Man, a reboot. Oh yeah, and uh, and a new Dark Knight movie. Mm -hmm. So that we're looking forward wow, to. Wow, where where do they go after the Avengers? Back to reboots, right? Because I mean, well, Doc, Doctor I don't know. Strange, I mean, perhaps? I would hope I, mean. I would hope that they would continue and maybe do a sequel to that. I know they want to do sequels to uh, Captain America, to Thor, mm -hmm. you know, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully they're going to go and you know do some sequels to that mm. if if it, everything goes well and we're crossing our fingers that it's going to yeah you know and and I update the website with all the stories that are uh that are leaking and the rumors and everything you know on on the lair live so um so as things are as things are kind of baking and whatever we're you know we're always uh putting up casting news and stuff yeah. like that so is it a weekly update or is it like yeah, a daily yeah, thing yeah 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 it, well with the holidays we kind of yeah. put it a little bit on the back burner cuz it's the holidays and you know you do reruns and whatever but actually it's it's uh meant to be a weekly update and it's and it's not so much for people who are on the web every day looking at stuff like mm -hmm. I am it's more of a of a package for people who don't have time to go looking for everything and you're kind of doing all that for them right and I put it all together there kind of a um 
Access Hollywood Entertainment Tonight format, you know, mm -hmm. and it's three segments, and we do, you know, movie segment, we'll do comics, we'll do uh, toys, and, you know, stuff like that. So. Mm. Mm? Uh, let's see here. So, let's see, what got you into comics? What was that first, you know? Well, like I said, it was like that, that Batman thing, mm -hmm. you know, and then from there, it just kind of grew, you know, it, uh, it, and my cousins were into it as well, so they were a little bit older, just a couple of years, so they already were collecting the comics, and, you know, they were going to 7-Eleven, getting those superhero cups, oh, and all that yeah. kind of stuff like that, so I was kind of, like, emulating them a little bit, and I was like, wow, you know, I, I really love this stuff, and look at them, they're doing, you know, they're already reading these books, and I, I was barely learning how to read, you know, and uh, so I'd go to their house and I'd like look at all the pictures and just I was like, man, I wish I could read this, you know. <laughs> and so as soon as I could read, I was that's what I was grabbing. I was grabbing comics and then I was getting into the stories. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, it's not just reading and, and, and you know, pow, bam. There's yeah. there's something behind this. And I was reading and getting into it and 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 learning words, you know. Thor's hammer. I didn't know how to how to pronounce that when I was a kid. It's mm -hmm. Mjolnir, and you know M J, and you're going Majol. You know <laughs> what what is this? And so you're learning how to read at the same time. So it was it was pretty cool. It was a, you know, it was just kind of one of those things that I just gelled with. You know, yeah. well, it's yeah. nice to see that all the stuff that we've seen in the comics actually be in the movies, like you said, and people mm -hmm. care about the stuff now. Right? Yeah, I love that. Do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, previously, you had mentioned that. Uh, that you you are very uh, you look forward to all these new movie superhero movies coming out. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned the Marvel movies coming out, the Avengers movie. How do well? How do you feel about the DC movie studios right now, where they're barely tapping into Green Lantern, right. and the Flash, hopefully in 2012. Uh, how do you feel that? W why is it that they're putting out the so and so product, or why are they not putting products out fast enough? Well, DC's kind of addressed that a little bit, and they said that they're they're really kind of putting blinders on, and you know that they're really not when they say that, but they're trying to put blinders on to what Marvel's doing. And Marvel's, mm -hmm. you know, they're they're putting a team together, and everybody's saying, hey, you know, Justice League, you know, we want to see that Justice League movie, and they're saying, you know what, we've got we've really got to tap into these characters before we even think about anything mm -hmm. like that, and we're really not going in that direction, so. Um, I think it's just wise that they're even, you know, starting to get in there. And it, I'm not so sure it's a wise idea that they're rebooting Superman again already. It's kind of it's kind of weird because we just had that Brandon Routh thing, you know. And and it was, you know, he I think I, I give him more credit than a lot of people give him because I thought he was a, a good Superman. I thought he had a bad script. I thought that's what it was. I thought if he had a better script that that pushed him in a different direction, I thought he could have nailed it because I, I thought he was spot on. So, you know, it's one of those things. But now they're rebooting with, uh, in fact, um, Christopher Nolan, who is doing the uh, Batman movies, is now behind this producing the Superman movie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's got his hand in that. I think uh, DC said, look, we want to get some of that magic, you know, and we really need it for one of our bigger properties because at one time Superman was up here for oh, yeah. DC and now it's Batman is the guy, you know, Superman's kind of just lingering in there with Aquaman or something now, you know, <laughs> he's kind of just kind of by the wayside. But I mean, it's, it's, I'm glad that they're going to the Green Lantern. Um, I just uh, heard that they're going to be uh, developing the Flash pretty soon mm -hmm. and an Aquaman movie. Mm 